Ethiopia is located in the sub-Saharan Africa. What was once a prosperous nation with a history of providing humanitarian and relief assistance to needy peoples of other countries and continents in the world. Ethiopia is currently struggling hard to find its way out of the most abject poverty and project its real image to the world. Government is currently engaged in concerted efforts to address such national development issue in a sustainable manner. Nevertheless, the view of the scale and magnitude of the challenge, the matter is no way to be left to government alone, that like-minded non-governmental organizations are actively engaged in the area alongside with state actors. Cognizant of the need for all actors to contribute to the ongoing national development effort, one of the development organizations playing active role in this respect is VITA, a term derived from Latin, which literally means way of life. Based in Dublin, Ireland, VITA operates with a fund obtained from European Union and Irish aid. VITA opened its office in Ethiopia in 2005 with legal personality under registration with Ministry of Justice and is operating as charitable organization. VITA is an organization with a vision of achieving food security by food insecure families in Africa. Towards this vision, it is attaining promising accomplishment through different rural community based projects. One of these is project entitled Improved Food Production for Home and Market. It aims to contribute to mitigating the negative effects of volatile food prices in Arbamin Zuria and Chanchawaradas found in Gomo Gofa zone in southern nations, nationalities and people's regional states. The implementation started since December 2009 with the fund obtained from European Union. To achieve this objective, preparatory activities including launching workshop in which 85 participants attended, baseline survey that covered 315 households, handing over of a vehicle, motorbikes and office equipment to the respective office has been achieved, has been accomplished. In addition to this Gamagofa Farmers Fruit, Vegetable and Marketing Cooperative Union, which is a main partner of the project, has been capacitated in terms of human resource, initial capital for procurement of agricultural inputs and office equipment. In order to have 50% increase in potato production of target areas, 1,050 quintals of improved two varieties of potato seeds known as Jolene and Gudene have been purchased and distributed to 360 farmers of whom 285 are males and 75 of them are females on credit business through the union. The potato seed are planted on 52.5 hectares of land. Potato farmers harvested their produce. They produced on average 216 quintals of potato per hectare. From the local seed, they were producing 45 quintals per hectare. The union purchased 2,880 quintals of potato from farmers to contribute for market stabilization. From these, the union supplied 445 quintals to the local market for consumption and 93 quintals of seed for Tenchawarada Agriculture Office to be planted in seven neighboring Kabbalahs. <laughs> To improve grain production by 50%, 405 quintals of maize and 1,762 quintals of fertilizer distributed to 4,219 male and 315 female mother and bulk beneficiaries. 
This has been planted in 1,623 hectares of land. The maize planted in 636 hectares of land has been harvested. Farmers produced on average 53.6 quintals of maize per hectare. This was a great achievement compared to 35 quintals per hectare. They used the gate for the total for the local varieties. <laughs> Based on selection criteria set, 1,492 wheat beneficiaries, of whom 1,392 producers and 100 multipliers, selected from 12 target cabalets of Chenja Orena. The input purchasing committee purchased 336 quintals of certified wheat seed, 224 quintal of DAP, and 112 quintals of urea. From these, 318 quintals of certified wheat seed and 318 quintals of fertilizer, that is 212 quintals of DAP and 106 quintals of urea, were distributed to 114 females and 928 male farmers. From 1,042 quit beneficiaries, 10.9% are female-headed households. The 25%, that is equivalent to 6,572.9 euros down payment collected from quit beneficiaries, was deposited in the joint bank account. The wheat has been planted in 212 hectares of land. From this, a total of 7,420 quintals of production is expected, that is 35 quintals per hectare. Technical support on weeding, urea application and disease identification was given to 520 wheat farmers in the first weeding and 120 farmers in the second weeding in their farmland with collaboration of Warada Agriculture Office. Currently, the wheat is in good status. 700 quintal of lime has been purchased. This was so as to improve the soil acidity of Chencha area. The application of lime, however, has been postponed to the next wheat planting season since soil taste needs sufficient time, which didn't go with the remaining time for planting wheat. Fifty nine point seven quintals of tape with proportion of three hundred fifty eight point five quintals of fertilizer provided to six hundred twenty one male and forty four female farmer beneficiaries. They produced twelve point six quintals per hectare, which was eight quintals per hectare from the local seed. This was based on the result of production and productivity assessment done. Cooperative Union has collected twenty five percent down payment from potato, maize, wheat and tape seed and fertilizer, which is equivalent to 47,448 pounds and started to collect 75% after harvest on seed costs and deposited to the joint bank account for use as revolving fund. Provision of improved maize and tape seed is accompanied with 2021 Gabion distribution in Arba Minzuri Awarada. A total of 1,656 gabions have been used in nine cabalets for flood protection. The community contribution was strong in that 15,272 individuals participated in stone collection and gabion application. In terms of money, it was equivalent to 4,957 euros. Provision of improved seed and gabion application was also followed by small-scale irrigation scheme rehabilitation. 
three flume structures were constructed. The flumes are serving 1,135 households through irrigating 1,135 hectares of land. To promote marketing opportunities and ensure continuity of seed supply, the construction of a diffused light store with a capacity of 1,200 quintals each for potato produce have been finalized. Around 973 quintals of potato have been stored. The construction of six grain stores and three potato stores in Arba Minzura in Chenja have been completed by 80%. This will serve 20 primary cooperatives. As far as equipment support to Warada Office of Agriculture is concerned, two desktop computers with accessories and two printers have been purchased and handed over to Chenja and Arba Minzura Warada Agriculture and Rural Development Offices. To improve access to market information, a total of 12 white boards have been fixed in both waradas, six in each. In all areas where the boards are fixed, orientation on the purpose, utilization and duster have been provided to Kabale administrators and DAS. Today, target beneficiary communities in both selected areas no longer worry about food security at household level and state. Thanks to EU for funding the project and VITA for implementing it, surplus production is leading to offering products not only to local markets but also to major markets in the nation's capital. Now a single select potato seed can yield 30 seeds and one can imagine the difference. This is a real source of EU and VITA satisfaction. Alongside with the area of activity, VITA, with the funds secured from European Union, is also actively engaged in dissemination of post-harvest wastage control, education and training. Nevertheless, in the course of these tasks, some challenges have been faced, including 15 potato beneficiaries faced damaged due to late blight occurrence. Also, sour wheat beneficiaries faced yellow rust problem that has been controlled in most parts with the support of Agriculture Office. There are also 12 farmers who lost some parts of their maize farm because of flood. Despite the problems VITA has encountered during the implementations of its activities in say target areas, the feedbacks from internal result-oriented monitoring held by the task manager in the EU delegation office and the ongoing monitoring done by external consultants from EU also confirmed that there are commendable outputs or results. The report indicated that the project is assimilated with government policy and is consistent with EC development strategies and the project is running as planned coast in time. The report further indicated that the project has positive outputs such as increased production of maize and potato, which has an input for a more sustainable enhanced production capacity. The project has also good potential for sustainability as the project is focusing in building the capacity structure designed by the government for input purchase, distribution and collection which will continue operating in the absence of VITA. VITA earned people's trust and credibility due to its solid commitment and sound management in realization of its objectives, thereby working in close partnership with target beneficiary communities at household farm level. But far from complacence, VITA is seeking to realize its vision for Ethiopia, where food insecurity is eradicated and everyone attains self-reliance. No doubt, this promising achievement calls for all-rounded support from government and non-governmental organizations, including Irish government and European Union. Further, we look forward to growing people's participation and active involvement of partner organizations and supporters.